Okay. All right. Where's the question? Hi, Caesar. Hi. Over here. <laughs> Sorry. Well, can somebody take care of me? Thank you. Hi. Uh, I have a 10 month old golden retriever. 10 month old golden retriever. Yeah, and I've never had a dog before. You never had a dog before. But you convinced me to get a dog. Well, thank you for saving a life. <laughs> Now, um, I have a German Shepherd a couple houses down that is okay. very aggressive, so when I do take my dog for a run, uh, I have this fear of this dog coming and starting a fight or attacking my dog. And I've had even an experience at a dog park where my dog will just totally submit, and I don't know how to maybe break up if a dog becomes too aggressive. I don't know how to handle that situation, because I get nervous. Yeah, okay. Well. Good thing is, you never had a dog before, so you don't have too many bad habits. This is you, this is a way where you can create good habits. Yeah, and I read your books. Thank you. But have you ever hired somebody that can just come and walk you through the experience? No. No. no All right. So that that's fantastic, right? That's 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 amazing because uh, the only thing you need to know is uh, a lot of times people. When they say it's an aggressive German Shepherd, the dog is just barking. And you can interpret that as an aggression because, like you say, I don't know dogs. So you have to actually learn what the bark means. Right? So if I was you know, your coach, I would say, okay, that bark means this, and this is how we're going to stop him from barking. So you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So I will actually help you to experience and, and ask you to stay there until the, dog, until the German Shepherd stop barking. From that point on, the German Shepherd will smell you and, and your dog. So from that point on, what you told the German Shepherd was, be calm with us. So I have to stay calm. But you need somebody. Yeah. Right? You need the knowledge first. Yeah. You intellectually know it, but, but the experience is what you need. So having a, a professional that can walk you through it, it's not about sit down, stay calm, heal. It's about learning what that dog is saying. Because many of them, they can tell you, I'm frustrated. And by you come in and visit them and wait until they calm down, you actually become their friend. That's a neighbor. The neighbor is not just the person who lives around you, it's the one who's there with you. You see, it, it takes a village to raise a child. That's the meaning of it. Right? So we're not really looking, what dog is unstable so I can go help? What, what we do is, that dog is aggressive. That dog is this, that dog is that. So we start segregating them. See? And the whole goal of me going around the world is to say, let's be there for each other. Because dogs are there for us. So let's follow what they teach. Just like we, we follow uh, you know, the concept of uh, loving unconditionally. We talk about it, that's the thing we do. You get it? That's the message. I just, let's say if a fight does happen, do I get in between the two dogs? No. No, you just... You're not ready to stop a fight. You first have to learn to prevent a fight. Prevention and then intervention. Learn to prevent, because you become more powerful. Thank you. Yes. Yeah! Come on, buddy.